Hello, Saka Fed. Hi, I'm Roma and welcome to my kitchen. Today I will be making some stewed oxtails. If you want to see how I make this recipe, keep watching. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode. Now let's get cooking. These are all the ingredients that we are going to need to make our stewed oxtail. The exact amount will be in the description bar below. First ingredient is our oxtails. These oxtails, I did prepare them ahead of time. So they've been seasoned with my green seasoning, some extra, a little bit of curry powder and garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, and just overnight in the refrigerator. Carrots, onion, garlic, some curry powder, kitchen bouquet, some Maggi seasoning, and some bouillon. Now you will notice I have a couple of these, but I'm just gonna use as I need it. So I will be tasting, and if I need more, I'm gonna add the extra one. First step, I'm just gonna heat up my pot. When cooking oxtail, the seasoning is very important. That's where you're gonna get all the flavor. You're, you're marinating it overnight, but also that meat is gonna cook down in all that seasoning. Put a little bit of cooking oil, not too much, and let it heat up. Feels hot now, so I think this is hot enough. And I can put my oxtail in, so let's transfer it. Seasoning on there, so it's gonna be really flavorful. I did also put some dried beef seasoning in there as well in the marinade. I'm gonna get that a stir here, and I keep my fire on high because I want a lot of heat right now to brown it. And see how, look how that um, it's making it the juice, you know, the water. It's coming up. So that's good. This step, I'm gonna add my kitchen bouquet. And I can see it's not gonna be enough, so I need some more. The secret with this cooking meat like that, you just add it as you need it. So I can see I'm gonna need more of that. So I'm just going to pour it in, that gives it flavor but also gives it that rich color. So right now what I'm going to do is just cover this and let it cook down. Oh actually I should put my curry in. I'll put it at this stage, put the curry powder. And I'm just gonna cover it up and let it cook down in its own juice for a bit. And I will keep checking it. Give it about 10 minutes. While I'm uh, um, letting that cook down for a bit, I'm just gonna prepare my other ingredients here. small cloves but I don't need a lot of garlic because I have the garlic powder already in there so that should be enough. The carrots are not going to go in until the like last half hour before it's ready and that oxtail is going to take a, a while to cook too. It's something you do on a day you know when you, you have the time to let it just simmer for usually about two, three hours. Let's check, okay. Look at that, eh? Look how nice that is. See how much it sprouted and make its own water? That's good. 
So I'm just going to cover it down and leave it doing fine on its own. And I'll leave it for a while and I will add water to it later. But right now, let me just cook down in all that seasoning. Another 10 minutes later and look at that. It's drying down now. And you can see it's the color in there is beautiful. Look at that. Eh? Smells so good. Now, the next step, I'm going to put these onions in there and the garlic. Fresh thyme. I want to put some nice fresh thyme in there. And I'm just going to brown it. Cover it for about five minutes before I add some liquid to it. So five minutes later, look at this. Oh, beautiful. So you see all the water is gone. All the liquid that was in there is gone. So that's what you want to do. You want to cook it first in its own juice with all the seasoning until it dry down like this now at this stage we're going to add some liquid now if you like you have beef broth you want to add beef broth to it that, that's fine you can do that i like to add water because then i have all my stocks and you want to add enough to cover the meat going to add three cups to cover it that's going to dry down but just enough water to cover the meat and then I'm going to add my bouillon so I'm going to turn that up so it comes to a boil and you notice I didn't add any salt to that because all these seasonings they have a lot of salt later on with before I um, take it off, I'm gonna taste it and just see if I need any more seasoning or what. Okay, that's it. And I'm just gonna cover that now and bring it to a boil and then I will turn it down to a part of medium and just let it cook until it's nice and tender. Okay, so let's recheck it now or oxtail. What I'm doing is just taking some of the fat from the top and I have a bowl here so I'm just getting because it is a like kind of fatty so the fat is on the top so I just get in a spoon and scoop it off also at this stage I'm gonna take these thyme things off out of there so these little what do you call that stems so I just remove that you want to just grab these out of there what I'm gonna do next is add my carrots to it because it's getting to the point where it's gonna be done soon I want to taste it and see the salt it tastes very good I don't want to over season so I'm not going to add my other pack see this little pack that's I'm not going to add that because it's perfectly fine now so I'm just going to cover it so I'm going to turn it here about mid medium just let it finish cooking and it's all done Take a look guys, look at that stewed ox tail. I'm gonna plate it up and then you can see it after I'm done. Have some vegetable rice I'm gonna have with that.
Okay, so let's taste this delicious oxtail. Mm. It's so tender, it's like fall off the bone. Yep, I need a knife to cut into it. Oh, look how soft that is. That is so good. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Delicious. And here you have it, guys, our delicious stewed oxtail. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you again next time. Until then, God bless.